Hey guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel if this is your first time tuning in. My name is Angel Marino, but you can call me Mac Daddy. Now, today's look is very different. It's really different for me. It's definitely pushing me to step outside of my box. We are playing with tons of color today. I really was inspired by all of this like neon trend happening in fashion and I wanted to create something that was like super bright and electric and fun for the summer. I was inspired by a photo that Priscilla Ona posted of her beautiful makeup. She's such an amazing makeup artist. I mean, she does Rihanna. If you don't follow her, you absolutely need to. She is like inspo all day long. I saw this photo and I said, you know what? Like, I'm gonna challenge myself to do something different because this is so outside of the box. Like, I mean, I'm wearing blush and like a hot pink lip. Like, who am I? If you guys wanna learn how to achieve this look, then keep on watching. All right, so we're gonna start off with a little bit of skincare. I don't have anything on my skin right now. Now, a lot of the products that I'm gonna use in this video are things that I've just received in PR. So this is gonna be a little bit of like a first impressions moment, but some of these things I am familiar with, so I'll kind of just like talk you guys through it. I'm really excited to try this brand new Marc Jacobs Youth Quake. This is their Hydro Full Retexturizing Gel Cream. Now, I love anything that's a little bit more like of a gel texture on my skin. Now, this does say that it is deep hydration and it has powerful pineapple enzymes, your glowy complexion starts here. So this definitely sounds like it's gonna be up my alley. I'm gonna give it a go and let you guys know how I feel. Okay, this doesn't really smell like anything, not anything specific. I kind of in my mind thought that it would smell like pineapples, but no, no pineapples. So I'm just gonna take some of what is on the back of this little cap moment. And I am just going to start to blend this all over my skin. I can immediately feel that hydration for sure. It feels nice and cooling. I like the texture of the moisturizer. It does feel like a lighter weight gel for sure. This feels nice. This feels expensive. I really like the way that this feels on my skin. Like it literally feels super hydrated. I really love when I can literally feel a moisturizer penetrating into my pores and my skin feels really nice and plump right now, which is always a good sign. And as far as the glowiness, I mean, I, I think my skin looks glowy, right? Like it has a nice little like fresh, natural glow. Of course, we can't forget about our eyes. So I'm gonna go in with this NARS Total Replenishing Eye Cream. You guys know I am obsessed with this. I am like running out. This just makes a big difference when it comes to concealing and just like your entire under eye area. And a little goes a long way with this. I can literally do a little tiny bit and just blend it out. For my foundation, I'm gonna be using this Clinique Beyond Perfecting Foundation. Now this is like a two-in-one. It's meant to be like a foundation and a concealer. It has a really unique applicator that I'm gonna show you guys. Looks like a giant doe foot. Now this is a full coverage foundation. Like I said, you can use it as a foundation or you can use it to just like spot conceal or just use it as a concealer. It is gonna be full coverage, but it's gonna be like a natural matte. It's not gonna be anything that looks cakey or feels cakey. And it also wears for 24 hours. So I like to apply this straight from the doe foot applicator because you get just the right amount of product on the little wand. So you can literally just like swipe it onto your face, just like so. Do a little up here. So the shade that I am using is shade 7.5 T. And I'm just gonna take my beauty blender and just blend it all out. Now the cool thing that I've noticed about this foundation is you get a lot of play time so you can really take your time like blending it out and really perfecting it on your skin. I know there's some foundations that dry down pretty fast so you have to like rush to blend it out. But this definitely gives you like the right amount of play time to really blend it out. I lift the curls to get that foundation under there. By the way, do you guys like this new hair color? I had like a spontaneous moment with my friend Dustin the other day. He normally cuts my hair, like the top of my hair. And I called him like right before an event that I had. I had a launch event with Kristen. And I was like, I'm sick of my hair. Like I just want some change. And I was just kind of feeling in the spirit. And this is kind of what we came up with. Okay, I think we're good to go on our forehead. I know my hair looks crazy. Don't mind it. These curls have a mind of their own sometimes, okay? Now I am gonna add a little bit more, specifically like right in here, you guys can see I have like this little pimple that's trying to sabotage my life. So I'm gonna add a little bit right in here, using it for more of like a concealer moment, if that makes sense. And I'm also gonna add a little bit more around my beard because I do shave, so sometimes it does look a little bit more gray than what I like it to. So 
I'm just gonna build a little bit more coverage there as well. Oh yeah, that covered that bad boy. You see that? What pimple? All right, so I'm happy with how this foundation looks. I think it looks really, really great. You guys know I love full coverage and this is definitely giving me the coverage that I want. This foundation is available in 40 different shades and it does retail for $29, so not too bad. Definitely affordable if you're looking for a brand new foundation, something that you can go from like medium to full coverage that feels really nice on the skin and lightweight. I definitely recommend you guys check this one out. Moving on to concealer, I'm gonna be using this Marc Jacobs Accomplice Concealer. I've heard nothing but amazing things about this, so I'm really excited to try it. I do have a couple of different shades in front of me, but I'm gonna be using shade Light 23. So this is a stick concealer, which I don't mind. I like using stick concealers, foundations, all the time. I'm just gonna swatch it on straight to my face from the tube. I'm gonna blend this out with the opposite side of my beauty blender. Kind of went a little ham underneath my eye area, but it's all good. It's gonna blend beautifully. I feel it in my spirit. Now, I do go a little lighter on my concealer. You guys know that. I like to use it as a tool to highlight my face a little bit as I'm working through my makeup. Okay. Okay, Mark. I see you. I really like how that looks. It looks really smooth. I think it looks really, really good. So I definitely love the way that that blended out. Now I'm just gonna go ahead and set it with a translucent powder. You guys know I love my Laura Mercier. So that's what I'm gonna use to set my under eye area. Now for this, I normally like to just take it with a like stiff brush. This is a old Morphe brush. I don't even know. The number is completely scratched off, guys. Like I can't tell you what it is, but it's just like a dome shape, like a stiffer brush. So I like to just pick it up with something like this and I just press it underneath my eye area. Now to set the rest of my face everywhere where I haven't applied any of that translucent powder yet, like my cheeks and my forehead, I'm gonna go in with this Joy Soft Focus Hydrate and Set Powder. Absolutely love these. This is the shade Light, and I'm just gonna go in with like a big fluffy brush. And I like to just kind of stipple it, you know what I mean? It's just to lightly set that Clinique foundation. It's not really gonna add like any coverage per se, it's literally just gonna give it like a nice veil and just set it really nicely for us. Gotta get that forehead. And now to bronze and contour my face a little bit, I'm gonna be going in with this bronzer. This is from the Aladdin and Matte Collection, which I love so much. I think the packaging is so beautiful. This is in the shade Your Wish Is My Command, which is just like a nice, beautiful, warm bronze. And how cute is a little magic lamp in here? So cute. I've also been obsessed, you guys, with this Bare Minerals brush. This is the Seamless Shaping and Finishing brush. I used this a lot in the video that I did with my mom, and I literally have not been able to put this brush down for bronzing and contouring. You guys can see it just adds like a really nice, beautiful warmth. So now I'm just gonna under highlight and clean up my contour just a little bit. You guys have seen me do this before, but this really helps to add more dimension and shape to my face. So I went ahead and I did my brows off of camera. Let me know in the comments if you guys want me to do like an updated brow routine. I did, however, use this Maybelline Tattoo Studio Brow Pomade and I used the shade, where is it? Where's the shade? 380 Deep Brown. So for my eyes and the rest of my face, I'm gonna be doing something a little different, a little outside of my comfort zone. Some tones that I'm not used to working with, but I was really inspired by this photo of Priscilla Ono. I thought this makeup was so so beautiful. I love the pop of color. So that was the inspiration for this makeup look. And to create that, I'm going to be using this Huda Beauty Neon Palette. This is, um, I don't know if they have names. I think they're just kind of like color stories, but this is like the Neon Orange Palette. There's tons of beautiful shades in here. I mean, look at that. So stunning. I feel like neons are so in trend right now. So I figured, you know what? Let's step outside of the box. It's summertime. Let's do something a little bit different. Let's get a little electric, so I decided to do some neon for you guys. I'm gonna start off with this bottom shade right in here. I'm gonna blend this all over my crease, and then we're gonna pack this coral, like this bright electric coral up here, all over my eyelids. Wow, I have to say, I am pretty impressed with this pigment. I feel like neons are so hard to nail, but this looks really good. Okay, so now that we have blended that out a little bit, I'm gonna go in with this more kind of like electric coral shade up here, and I'm just gonna place this all over my eyelids. Okay, so I realized I didn't really put a base on my eyelids, and I'm finding that that 
eyeshadow isn't really adhering the way that I want it to. So I'm gonna go in with a little bit of this NARS concealer. This is the Soft Matte Complete Concealer in Custard. And I'm just gonna add a little bit of this on my eyelids just to really get that color to really pop. I normally don't use an eyeshadow base, you guys know that, but for something like this, we definitely need one. Woo! That is some color! Okay, so a couple of things we learned. Make sure that you use an eyeshadow base when using this palette or any type of like neon pigment to really get it to like really pop and adhere. And if you guys notice, I did bake under my eye just to catch any fallout, which there was a tiny bit in the inner corners. So make sure that you're also doing that so that you're not completely having to like wipe off your makeup. I'm gonna dust off all of the powder. Okay, so I did pop on some eyelashes off of camera. Now, I did get a lot of product on my lashes, so I'm gonna go in with a little bit of mascara. I'm gonna be using my NARS Climax Mascara on my top and my bottom lashes. Now, in the photo, Priscilla didn't apply any color underneath her lash line, so I'm gonna do the same thing too, and just keep my under lash line just as is. But we are gonna coat it with a lot of mascara. Now I am gonna curl them a little bit. I'm gonna use this tool that I love so much. This is from Reveal Beauty. And this just helps me really just bind my natural lashes with the falsies and give them like a nice little lift. Gonna add a little bit of this MAC Graph Black Technical Eyeliner on the top of my lash line just to kind of help conceal that lash band a little bit better. All right, so in Priscilla's photo, she does have a lot of pink blush on. You guys know that I always have to contour my face because it's what kind of makes it look a little bit more chiseled. However, I am gonna marry in a little bit of blush. And you guys know this is like, you know, not what I usually do, but I'm stepping outside of my box here. Um, I'm gonna be using this Alamar Cosmetics Blush Trio. I got this in a BoxyCharm box and I absolutely love it. I'm gonna go in with this like peachy pinky shade right in the middle. I'm gonna use that same brush that I used earlier for my bronzer, and I'm just gonna lightly just kind of add it on top of that bronzer. All right, not gonna freak out, not gonna freak out. We're just gonna blend, that's it. I'm just gonna blend this out. Okay, not, you know, totally mad at it. Definitely kind of just like plays off of the eyes, which I like. I really like the way that this blends out, by the way. Like, it blends out really, really nicely. Now, before I add my highlight, I'm gonna spray my face with a little bit of this Glow Recipe, which I'm completely out of, Watermelon Glow Ultra Fine Mist. I like to just do, like, a few little spritzies on each side. And I'm gonna go in with this Smashbox X The Hood Witch. This is the crystallized highlighter powder in Optimistic. It looked so beautiful in this pan, so I was like, I need to try it. Now this is gonna complement that blush really nicely because it is kind of like a pinky tone, so it's just gonna really play off of each other. Wow, that is so pretty. I'm gonna bring it up a little bit more than what I normally do. I'm just gonna take it there. So in Priscilla's photo, she is wearing like a hot pink, bright pink lip. I'm going to attempt something similar, okay? But if I'm not digging it, I might have to switch to the nude, but I'm trying here, okay? I'm trying to step outside of my box. I'm gonna be using this Huda Beauty. This is her brand new, I wanna say they're the Power Bullet Matte Lipsticks. This is in the shade Spring Break. So here we go. Let's just, let's just give it a go. I need a minute to take it in, because I, I kind of, I'm down, not like regular life. I think, I think, I think I'm okay. I think it works with like the tones on my face right now. Like who am I, I'm adding more blush. But I don't know if I would feel okay with this lip with like a different eye. Like I feel like this is giving me more of like, just a vibe, like this is like a neon summer moment. But I think if it wasn't for the eyes and the cheeks, I just, I wouldn't feel right. I just wouldn't feel like it goes, if that makes sense. Okay, I also added a little highlight just down the bridge of my nose, just a little bit, just to kind of make her look a little bit more snatched, if you will. All right guys, so this pretty much completes this look. Like I said, I definitely stepped outside of my box, you guys. Like, I'm actually very, very proud of myself. I think this look would be perfect for like the summertime if you're feeling super bold and fierce. Neons are so in and so popular right now. This is such an easy look to do. Honestly, it was only like two colors on my eyes. 
Um, like I said, these colors really kind of vibe and mesh off of each other really, really well. I think my foundation looks great. You guys should definitely check out that Clinique foundation. I think you guys are gonna love it. I'm really happy with how this look turned out. I'm kind of, I'm kind of shook because I don't do this and I actually love it. Who am I? Oh my gosh. I feel like Ryan Potter with all this blush on. Before you guys go, don't be shady. Be a lady. Subscribe to my channel so that you don't miss a beat. Let me know in the comment section below what you guys think about this look. If I should be doing more looks like this, some more pop of colors on my lips and my eyes. Um, I know it's really new to this channel and to me. So let me know how you guys feel. And if you guys are into it, maybe I'll do a couple more. Thank you guys so much for watching. And I will see you guys in my next video. Bye, guys.